but moving from Porsche and the European automakers back home to exactly what's happening uh, with regulation and with the financial markets, because the financial crisis uh, appears to have created some political will in Washington for expansion of federal regulation. In fact, it seems virtually unstoppable at this point. Today is Senator Reid holding a hearing on hedge fund regulation and prominent short seller Jim Chanos among those who will be speaking uh, with Senator Reid about some of the proposals on the table. So it raises the broader question, is there a need for more regulation of hedge funds? Let's turn to someone who is named by Business Week among the wizards of short selling along with Chanos. David Tice and John Paulson. Manuel Asensio, who was quite controversial on the street because he used to publish the companies in which he had a short sailing position. He's now president of Mill Rock Investment Advisors. That's a long short hedge fund that looks at distressed debt. So Manuel, thanks so much for joining us uh, in studio. It seems like regulations pretty much fait accompli at this point. So what is it within the, that presumption um, that'll make it allowable for hedge funds to continue uh, to profit while still acting within some sort of proposed framework for broader regulation? We certainly hope that the regulation doesn't fall on the investors. The investors uh, weren't the cause of this problem. And we hope that perhaps, um, you know, the president talks about relics in our regulatory system. And certainly self-regulation, which is 75 years old and is a concept that uh, was controversial and played a big role in the problems here should be looked at. If not disregarded entirely, perhaps we should look at the process by which private parties take on the obligation of administering public laws. What do you mean by that? Because the, the question and the wording that has been floated out there in terms of proposals has been what we've been hearing since 2006, that there's going to be registration of hedge funds, that as Jim Chanos had said, he and the Hedge Fund Association actually support that within reason and greater disclosure, perhaps, of positions, uh, short-selling positions that they have on their books, as long as it's not disclosed to the public. Are you saying you do not support that? Well, if it comes, it, it, it's, it's a process that I think most, most larger hedge funds will be able to administer without interruption of their business. Registering is one thing. Uh, what that registration entails and how much uh, interference by regulators and who the regulators are and what they're going to look at when you're a private party investing your private capital and not uh, risking depositors' money. People that deposit money with us uh, certainly don't believe that the government is going to guarantee them against losses. Um, that's a very different process than a bank or an insurance company which failed because of the greatest uh, regulatory uh, failure of all mankind. Right. Well, I don't think anyone would argue against you that there have been regulatory failures. That's not really the issue so far. It's sort of moving forward. What can we do within the framework that's being proposed out there? Um, I think the issue isn't so much the, the question of is there uh, systemic risk being posed to the broader system by hedge funds. It's can you ever really legislate or regulate the, the amount of leverage that a fund can take on. I mean, look at what happened in 1998 with long-term capital. That was a case where uh, leverage supposedly did pose a uh, systemic risk to the broader financial system. So regulation and political will seems to, to be there for broader regulation. What is workable for you as a well, hedge fund manager? If you look at systematic risk, a systematic risk was not at the level of a, of a, of a, of a hedge fund. The systematic risk came as a result of uh, activity by a great deal of people engaged in, in what ultimately was discovered to be a fraud, the subprime fraud, the, the, the labeling of securities which were not AAA as AAA securities and layering on top of that um, derivatives which were right. very faultily priced. That process is not going to be addressed by a systematic risk. That process is going to be addressed by the individuals who were charged with taking care of business at the lowest level, not the highest level. Systematic risk is way up there. We, as hedge funds, trade with regulated individuals who are regulated by FINRA. Are you registered right now? Because it's voluntary at this point. Did you mm. register your hedge fund? No, we were registered. We deregistered. You deregistered. Right. 
Okay. Why don't you stick with us? Because we're heading to break right now. Manuel Asensio, President, Mill Rock Investment Advisors. We're back on Bloomberg with Manuel Asensio, president of Millrock Investment Advisors. It is a long, short hedge fund that looks at distressed debt. Manuel's here in studio with us. Manuel, before the break, you said that you chose not to register your hedge fund. It is voluntary at this point, but you chose not to do so. So presumably that's going to carry forward in your position on just about anything. You're not in favor of any sort of regulation, to boil down your argument. Not for investors, but if as an investor I'm required to register, we have to see what that register entails. Who am I going to be registered with? And what is that person that I'm registered with going to have authority to supervise mm -hmm. and regulate in my operation? Okay. But if you have to disclose perhaps the amount of leverage that you have, it's going to remain quiet. It's not going to be public information, but it's simply to inform the government as to the level of risk out there in the system, the level of leverage out there. You'd be opposed to, to that because other hedge fund managers have said they would, within reason, consider such a, a move. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with regulating the amount of leverage in the system, no matter who the player is, even if it's an investor. There's nothing at all that I would find... Um, negative about that, and it'd be a good thing for all of us to know how much leverage there is in the system. Mm -hmm. um, but about remember, outside of outside of long-term capital, the issues of of 07 and 08 and 09 were not caused by excessive regulation in hedge funds. Hedge funds were able to, in some cases, unfortunately, not give back as much money as investors wanted, but shrink, sell, and liquidate. Mm -hmm. Um, what's your position right now? You have moved from purely short to long short now, I understand, in, in terms of your position as a fund. Your view of the market right now? Well, like everyone else, we're cautious. I mean, it's $100 trillion worth of unfunded liabilities. It's a tremendous amount of our, of our GMP that's being funded by deficit spendings, and those things have to change, and they came upon us very quickly. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you look at the gold market and you see the amount of people that are trading on gold and buying gold because they're worried about, you know, deflation and inflation, you see how much uncertainty there is in the market. All right. Manuel Asensio, thanks for joining us in studio. Manuel is from Millrock Investment Advisors.